ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment is the home of all official 616 Entertainment merchandise. Pick up a shirt, you'll be glad you did. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. What's up, Dan Dans? Welcome to 616 Nitro. My name is Ian, and we are playing a little bit of ECW Anarchy Rules this week. I got a lot to tell you guys about the making of the history of ECW video games, the most recent Triangle X Squared Circle episode. I got a bunch of stories to tell. Not just the coolest, not just the best, just incredible! Oh, are you going to get punked out? It's time to get extreme. I am playing as Just Incredible. This is a battle royal to kick us off here. And I want to say that a couple months ago, I did an episode of uh, 616 Nitro. Yeah, it was Nitro, not 616 Smackdown. On ECW Hardcore Revolution. And you guys really seem to enjoy it. And I was like, you know what? I do want to do an Anarchy Rules episode, but I knew in the back of my mind I was going to do uh, a retrospective on the ECW games at some point in the near future. So I didn't want to have too much ECW content on the channel because, just from my point of view, if you guys see too many ECW thumbnails, you're going to get used to it. And you're going to be like, oh, he's playing the goddamn ECW games again. So I was like, we definitely need to take a break here so that it feels special when you see that big ECW thumbnail. Uh, and the, the reason I hadn't done a heart, an Anarchy Rules episode even sooner is, check this out. I wrote all of that Triangle X Squared Circle episode. I, I wrote the whole script, and maybe a week before release, I was like, I need to start actually editing this video <laughs> like the script had been done for a while but for whatever reason i was working on so much other stuff like superman for everyone and shit like that that it had cut big power bomb reversal though uh actually starting the video editing process had kind of it started very late compared to how early i like to have this stuff done Everyone's beating my ass. Why can't I focus on somebody else? Oh no, famous sir from Big Sally Graziato. Um, so I grab my copy of Hardcore Revolution, and that's when I realize I have two copies of ECW Hardcore Revolution for some reason. And then I look for my copy of ECW Anarchy Rules, which I've had. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, that's that. I'm eliminated. <laughs> Why did I think to climb the ropes? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It gives me time to tell you the story now and I can actually focus. First of all, I want everyone to place bets in the comments on who is going to win now that I am eliminated. Do you bet on Big Sal? He's a big man! How are you gonna get that man over the top rope? <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld on commentary. You placing bets on Jerry Lynn or you placing bets on Tajiri? Leave a comment right now. Let's see who gets it right. But so I go looking for my copy of ECW Anarchy Rules, which I've had since I was a kid. My grandma got it for me for my birthday. Oh boy, we got a package delivered. Give me a second, guys. Okay, package delivered. I got a uh, Tokyo Treat box, the deluxe version. Uh, I ordered one for my girlfriend, the beautiful Tara Darcy. It's full of cool snacks and drinks and stuff from Japan. Anyway... I could long story short, I couldn't find my fucking copy of ECW Anarchy Rules anywhere. I tore my entire place apart. I went through every one of my games, all my PS4, Switch, PS3, fucking everything. I opened every case to see, did I jam the Anarchy Rules disc in one of these at some point? And no, I didn't. I went through every DVD, every Blu-ray I own, which is weird. Because my copy of Anarchy Rules was complete. I had the case, I had the manual, so why the disc would just be gone, I don't know. But I couldn't find the, the case or the manual either. So, man, I tore apart all of my closets. I went through everything. And you know where I found it? I didn't find it. I have no idea where it is. So, with one week... Look at that German suplex from Tajiri. With one week to go before the triangle x squared circle on the ecw games was scheduled 
I had to go on eBay, find a copy of ECW Anarchy Rules, hopefully for a good price, and place an order, hope it showed up by the time that I needed it, record all the gameplay I needed, and edit the video. It was stressful to say the least, but I didn't tell that story in the documentary video. I guess it's a retrospective, not so much a documentary. I didn't tell that story in the retrospective because you guys don't care, you know? <laughs> Plus, there's episodes like 616 Nitro, which allow me to tell these sort of stories. But I do want to throw out, I want to give a shout out to, let me go to my purchases on my eBay. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the guy I bought it from, which is Frank L underscore eight two five, F R A N K E L L E underscore eight two five, because ECW Anarchy Rules trends for about thirty bucks, a complete copy on PlayStation, and he had his listed for best offer, uh, and he, the bidding started at like ten bucks, so I made an offer of fifteen, which was above his starting asking price, and said I need this ASAP. I'm doing a video on it. And instead of jerking me around and being like, how about 25? And then I say, how about 20? He just accepted the first offer I put through, shipped it fast as fuck. I got it before the USPS assumed it would be here. I got the whole retrospective done in time. So Frank L underscore 825, you saved the fucking day. Where is my copy of ECW Anarchy Rules, my original? Uh, I have no idea. So it seems as though it may be lost to time. <laughs> But that's a little bit of inside information for you there on uh, the making of that episode. I was very excited to make that episode. And I decided at the last second, as you guys may or may not be able to tell, it was originally the video games of ECW dash triangle like squared circle. And then I kind of realized, like, I've done the history of SmackDown, I've done the history of WCW video games, so that kind of takes all of those games off the table. I've already covered them, you know? And if I'm doing both ECW games in one video, I kind of felt like I was selling the project short to not call it the history of ECW video games. So I changed the title, and the video has wound up being my best performing video in a long time it has done so well so i cannot thank you guys enough for showing up watching it enjoying it sharing your stories in the comments means so much to me and i it like it's not just because like uh it's it's doing well so like oh the views are up like the numbers look good to me it's like when i really work on something that i'm proud of I want as many people to see it as possible, you know, because I'm not just, it's not a fucking reaction video or it's not me complaining about something that I don't like. I'm telling stories about stuff that I do like and saying, I want to know what your stories on this subject are. So the more people that see that, the more people come into our community here and you make more connections, you know? That's why I do the kind of stuff I do when people ask, like, hey, are you going to do a, a reaction video to the Snyder Cut trailer? It's like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I will tell you guys that at the time you're watching this, over on Patreon.com slash 616 Entertainment, the podcast will be live. It is Patreon exclusive, but it's myself and my good friend, oh, Big Sally Graziano over the top rope! It's myself and my good buddy Captain McKay from YouTube.com slash Captain McKay Random, a fantastic stop motion animator. Um, we did a full review discussion on the Snyder Cut. Beautiful DDT there by Jerry Lynn. We did a whole review of it, and I took notes on the movie so I knew what I wanted to say going in, and Cap did the same. Um, when I say by the time you're hearing this, it's out, it's because... <laughs> Today is March 28th. It's 3.32 p.m. And Cap and I are going to record it in about four hours. So <laughs> it hasn't been done just yet. But by the time you're hearing this, it has been done. But I, there's another thing that I want to tell you guys about while I'm not playing so I can kind of focus is when I, uh, and I don't ever really talk about this. So I figured now might be a good time to share it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we almost saw finished there. 
Tajiri was woozy, which means he was susceptible to getting picked up and thrown over the top rope, because that's how the mechanic in this match works. Backbreaker from the new effing show with Jerry Lynn. What I was going to say is, when I release a project that I worked really hard on, which is not to say that these videos here are just a walk in the park and that they're easy to do, but when I write a script and I capture gameplay and I do research online and I edit a between 30 minute and one hour video together, that takes so long. It's very creatively rewarding, but also like draining, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's a ton of work. When I release one of those, it's fucking nerve wracking to see how it's gonna do. You know, because I don't know how everything is going to be received or perceived. I have no idea. Like, one of the more uh, popular aspects of, of this channel, I think, is the fact that I share so many personal stories and a lot of people, like a lot of you guys, will listen to it and be like, holy fuck, I have the same story. We're like the same person. And I think that's great because it helps you realize that we're all a little more similar than you than you realize when you hear somebody else talking and you're like wait a minute is this me talking like we're the same goddamn person it helps you realize how close you are to people that you don't even know you know what i mean we got a friend request coming through from teo underscore 619 underscore shout out to you here everybody while you're watching this that also just gave away the fact that i'm running a ps1 disc on a playstation 3 <laughs> but everybody watching this friend request teo right now just flood this guy with friend requests. <laughs> Tell him I sent you. Um, the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, the more personal aspects of the videos. Um, when I put a ton of work into one of those, it's nerve-wracking to see how it's going to do. Because I feel like the personal aspects are what one of the things that makes this channel more popular. But it, it doesn't always come off that way. Because I think it kind of also depends on the subject matter. Where one of the mo most personal videos I've ever released was... Uh, what Superman means to me, which was the first episode of Superman for everyone. That's about as personal as I've ever gotten on here. Um, and that video, like, not a lot of people watched it, you know? <laughs> Jerry Lynn dumps to Jerry over the top rope. We finally got a victor. But it's nerve-wracking because, like, I don't know, man. I guess that's just part of what goes into, like, creating art is... It's not so much that I need stuff to do well or else I feel like it's a failure. If I felt like something was a failure, I wouldn't release it. You guys would never see it. But at the same time, it's like, man, how's this going to go over? You know, I never know. So leading up to release, like the midnight, leading up to that midnight where a video is going to come out, I was standing in my kitchen and it was 11.59 and I was like, fuck. The new Triangle X Squared Circle is going to drop any second now. And, man, it's like, I, I just, it's not, it's not like I'm nervous. And I'm, it's not like I'm a comedian who's about to go on stage and I'm like, well, how are they going to react to me or anything like that? It's just, it's fucking nerve-wracking. I guess, I guess that's the only way I can say it. And I, not only do I have to wait until midnight, we, we're going to do a goddamn, are we going to do a brimstone match? Is that what we're going to do here? I think that's the idea. <laughs> and we're going to create an arena while we're at it, because I don't like to just go to a stand standard arena. But not only do I have to wait for it to hit midnight for the game to for the video to actually release, but I have to fucking wait until 1230 to see how the analytics look, you know? Because you don't you don't get that information right away. You have to wait for the first 30 minutes before It'll tell you, like, oh, this is where it places. Amongst your last ten videos, this is where this new one is, is placing. And you can kind of tell in that moment whether the video is going to be big or whether it's going to be a total fucking bomb. And when a video winds up being a total bomb, it just... It, I don't feel like it's a failure, like I said. If I released it, it means I'm proud of it. But at the same time, it's like, oh, like, I wanted to share my story, and now... My story's not getting shared. Yo, 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 yo! You're not even good enough to be in the ring with me! You might think you're good, but I'm super! That's just kind of how it feels. 
And maybe I'm a fucking weirdo for thinking that, but it, it, it just, it helps that I don't live and die by the numbers, you know what I mean? Because, like, the reality is, there, there are a bunch of us here who love to hang out, we watch these videos together, and we tell our stories. Shout out to Yo Mama 572 <laughs> Look at this cross-face chicken wing, shout out to Bob Backlund. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? See, this is why it was easier when just the, the AI was playing. I got to do whatever I wanted. Say whatever I wanted without getting distracted, for the most part. Uh, <laughs> it's just... Uh, I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. This, this, this wacky art form. You know? <laughs> How about a... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We need to go to the move list. And actually figure out... Oh, good, I have one move that's not a standard. Up square is Inziguri, and left up square is Wraparound DDT. And you want to see the Wraparound DDT? God damn it. Yes, indeed, that is the same DDT The Rock did in WWF Warzone. <laughs> I commented many times on how much was recycled and how... These are the exact same games as WWF Warzone and WWF Attitude, and I wasn't kidding. But place- BOOM in Siguri, but bla place your bets here as well. Do you think me taking control of Kid Cash is enough to stop the raging train of Nova? Or is Nova gonna toss us into the fire as we lock in this cross-faced chicken wing once again? I think I'm pretty goddamn good at making these rings, don't you think? I like the red ropes with the red pad. I matched it with the red ECW logo. But if, if I have one pet peeve there, it's that you saw me. You saw me create this ring. In the menu, wrap around DDT. I chose gray posts. And if you look at those ring posts, they're fucking white. There is no, there is no white option, but if you choose gray, you get white. How about that? Big running head scissors. I thought it was just going to be a clothesline. And we've got him juiced, busted open on the back of his head. I want to, I want to bang. I want to, I don't want to bang. Well, I don't want to bang Nova. Banging in general is cool. <laughs> but I want, I want this guy out of here. Son of a bitch. What kind of moves do I have from the tie up? Oh, nothing. Hammer lock, arm wrench, wrist lock. Inverted atomic drop. Beautiful. AKA the ball buster. Or nut buster. Inziguri, whatever you like to call it is fine with me. <laughs> but yeah, Dan Ends, this has been a more uh, stripped back episode of 616 Nitro. I'm sharing a lot of sharing a lot of stories, behind the scenes shit with you guys. Which is something that I do, and this is not a plug, but that's something that I do a lot over on Patreon, is I'll put up a post. And I'll tell you guys exactly, like, what I've been up to, what the fuck I've been thinking, <laughs> like, why I'm posting certain things, what you can look forward to. It's And I feel like it's just because that is a, a much smaller audience, so, like, I could post those messages on the YouTube community page for 76,000 people, or I could post it for the 110 people over on Patreon, you know? And, uh, it's just... This is, this is a wacky thing that, that we do here, isn't it? <laughs> How about that reversal, Nova? You're not getting that shit over on Kid Cash. What, do you think I'm Kid Change? You think you're dealing with nickels, dimes, and pennies here? I don't think so. Boom! We're talking dead presidents, pal. <laughs> not that there's not dead presidents on Change as well. But... Into this big old wraparound DDT ski. Get up. I got a knuckle sarny with your fucking name on it, pal. Boom! We got him hurt. Can we get him out of here already? Nope. He recovered. As soon as I picked him up, he had, like, already recovered. Time for another one of these head scissor deals. We're wearing his health down pretty quickly. At least way quicker than we did in the last Battle Royal, which is a good sign. But while I'm talking to you guys, I want to ask you about, and I've asked you this before, but I want to I want to check in and get an update. Um, what's the sweet spot for an episode for you guys? Because I did get a couple comments on last week's episode 
uh, where it was part two of the TNA Impact story mode, got a, I got a comment that came through that said, I think, like, I, I love what you do, I like to watch the videos, I'm paraphrasing. But I think this episode was a little too long for this game. And I, I did have an answer for it. God, he's bleeding all over the fucking place. How many, like, keychains and shit are on Kid Cash's gear that keep catching his skin? <laughs> but I, I had an answer for why the episode was so long. And it's because when I do a full playthrough, like for a full story mode, like I'm doing with TNA Impact or like I did with SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, I feel like they need to be long because if they're not at least an hour, it's going to take 25 fucking episodes to get through some of these story modes. You know what I mean? So that's why that one was a little longer. But for the, for the comment to come through, hey, I think this episode was a little long... Uh, he actually signed off the comment with, maybe that's just me. But I'm going through the comments, and I'm seeing what everybody has to say. And his comment, had it already had three thumbs up. And it was, like, 20 minutes after the episode came out. Which means, some of the first people that clicked on that video saw that he said, hey, I think this is a little long, and they agreed with him. So I can't get upset about that. I gotta ask you guys what you want. Um... I think instead of doing three or four matches for this episode, this will be the main event. And we'll, this one will be a little shorter, and we'll see how it does. And you guys can tell me in the comments, was it better that I went a little shorter? What kind of moves do we have here? Senton Bomb is X Circle. Oh, how about it? Big Senton from the top rope. We've probably unlocked new moves while well, he's running. Boom! Drop Kick Intercept. Now we've got new moves, right? Yeah, ball with the ball is left circle, right? Left circle. Shit. Knock it off. Let me get behind him. Big toss. Left circle. He blocked it. What I was saying is you guys are going to be able to let me know, do you want the episodes to stay between like 35 minutes uh, up to an hour? Or, I don't know, do you want to watch a 15 minute video? Do you want to watch a 20 minute video? Let me know. Uh, I like to keep you guys as involved as possible because I do this because I love to do it and I don't know what I would be doing with myself if I was not constantly creating something. But I also value your guys' opinions and what you have to say. That's why I'm so active. Look at this ball with the ball! That was beautiful! That's Oh, they're chanting for him and we're going to burn him to death while they chant. Goodbye, Nova! This is the Snyder Cut because we just killed the heroes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, look at the bloody eye. I value what you guys have to say. That's why I go through the comments so often. And uh, that's why I respond. Because I'm so appreciative that you guys are here. But that's going to do it. This was a very personal episode of 616 Nitro. While we played ECW Anarchy Rules on the PlayStation. I love you. And I'll see you next week.